morning this is Theron welcome to Minecraft land party we're gonna go uh, we're gonna go set up our our breeder village here so this is where we're gonna breed up the villagers that we will then load into the, uh, the iron farm so we're gonna have 12 of these things and each one needs 16 villagers we have two villagers at the moment hi Hello? Huh. Huh. And uh, right now they're a little too close. I can't just put up doors around this and have them start breeding. They're a little too close to this one. So we need to move. We need to set up a village a little bit of ways away. And uh, it's going to be a little bit of grunt work. I think I have all the materials I need to do it. Um. And this right here, I don't have all the tools I need. Okay, so this snow block indicates the nearest point where they can be. So I'm going to start building them in here. Um, yeah, I need to remove some ground. Hang on a second. That was dumb. I should have should have picked up all my tools. Okay, so got my shovel. Ooh, I'm hungry. Let's eat. Yeah, okay. So I got my shovel. So we have a couple problems here. One is we've got this little body of water down here, which doesn't really do me any good. It's not really a cave system. And I want to put in uh, so I'm gonna to want to fill that in. And do it with some of this dirt that I'm digging up. Uh, I want the the village to be flat because uh, and not one block away from a, a block because I need to protect these guys inventory fall okay oh I don't need those so I'm gonna build a little space that's uh, 29 by 29 um, and that's gonna be the footprint of the village so let me go dig out an area, lay out my walls, and we will be back. Okay, welcome back. Let's see if we can do this before the uh, batteries in my audio recorder die on me. So this is the space where the where the village is going to go. Uh, it's twenty nine. The the walls are twenty nine by twenty nine. So, I need to find the center spot. So, hang on a second. Uh, that'd be 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. That's all right. Yeah. <clears throat> right in the count over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes, 1. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, hang on. Two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then here. Boop. All right, so here we go. So this is the center of the farm, or the center of the the village. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that down there to give me a little bit of light. I didn't bring my ice. Okay, well I have the, I have the water bucket, so. Uh, and then I've got a hoe here. I'm going to make a little farm. So that thing of water will hydrate out to four. All right. 
So I'm going to do this. Just make a little square. Oh. <laughs> oh, goodness. My, uh, my hoe just broke. Fortunately, I've got wood here. So. That no, no, just trying to be efficient there. But uh, so that and then that and that. There we go. Here's my hoe. Uh, it's been a long time since I've had to replace a hoe. You just don't break that off. What's the durability on these things? Sixty. Oh, that's interesting. So I'm surprised. Because I'm doing a 64. Huh. Okay. So it was pretty much guaranteed to break. All right. You can see the water height. <laughs> <laughs> it broke again. Hi, Mr. Chicken. You're going to be a problem, aren't you? Oops. Okay, so I need some more planks. Thank you. Oh, yeah. No, that's not right. Oh, that's good. We're good. We're good. Oops, our hoe. We got a couple planks left over. Okay. One more space. Goodness. There we go. Now I've got some uh, some potatoes. And just so I don't fall in the water here. Um, I brought some carpet. So the carpet you can place. If you line it up on the side of the hitbox of the, uh, the plant here. Place it there. Oh, and then you can't fall in. Very good. So this is going to be what sustains the village. And makes the, the villagers willing to breed. Because that's something they changed with one, I think it was one, 1. 1.8. Uh, before 1.8, if you had villagers together and they were in a village and there were, and the number of houses in the village sustained, uh, sustained it, the villagers would just breed. Now you kind of got to coax them into it. And the way to a villager's heart, which their hearts is, of course, through their stomachs. So we are going to take out these. And now I have some blocks here. So now I believe what I decided to do is three, four, five. It's one, two, three, four, five, and then I still have two over here. Good. So, so now I'm going to make these pads, and I'm going to put in my doors here. So, what makes a village? Um, it's uh, it gets a little confusing, but basically, villages are doors. Uh, villages are a collection of buildings. Ah. And villagers and the way the game figures out what a building is is by doors that have more spaces covered on one side than the other this is kind of uh, so you can kind of build little grids of doors like that and have them count as multiple houses <coughs> and uh, if you cover up, uh, I'll show you. We're, we'll place them. I'm going to place all these doors first. So hang on a second. I'll be right back. <clears throat> okay, so I have all my doors in. But these, these are not houses yet, according to the game. So what we're going to have to do is let's uh, I need some scaffolding here. So what we want to do is 
land, so I'm just going to use stone here. So, the game figures out villages by saying, uh, figures out doors by saying, uh, this door has more blocks covered from the sky on one side than the other, up to four blocks away. Uh, so it counts as a uh, as a house. This door, same thing, because this block here creates that imbalance. So, so this is a area of twenty five houses, according to the game. Now, it'll breed up to thirty five percent of the doors uh, will. So a so I've got four pads of 25 doors here. So I can make this 100 houses. And because of the 35% thing, the game would allow uh, up to 35 villagers to breed in here. Uh, that may be more than I want. Just because the villagers, if you get too many villagers... The game will um, will spawn these things, these uh, these zombie sieges, and it's something that's been in the game from the beginning. But I guess it was broken for a long time, and so now they're back in. They were fixed in one of the 1.8 snapshots. So now you get a whole mess of, oh, come on. You get a whole mess of village, uh, zombies will just spawn. Oh, goodness. Okay, we'll just spawn inside your village. Even though, and it ignores lighting rules, which is kind of annoying. And it ignores, uh, it ignores other, they won't, apparently won't spawn on glass or, um, you know, stairs or things like that. So they, they don't ignore all the spawning rules, but they ignore enough of them to be a real pain. So, so I'm going to light this up. Of course, we don't need any zombies spawning inside the village. But I, I'll let you stay for now. But uh, if I get too many of them in here, even though I have everything lit up, Zombies will spawn, which is kind of annoying. So, uh, and I don't want them ravaging my my uh, villager population. So, I'm thinking I may only light up two sets of the doors for now and see how quickly that causes the villagers to breed. That should give me something like 18 villagers, which should let me fill up one at a time fill up the uh the spawning pods and still leave plenty behind it just won't let me go fill up all 12 really quickly so we'll see how that goes and if i find that's annoying and it's they're not breeding fast enough for me then i may uh i may light up the other doors and just have to be really careful and when it gets dark to uh, to make sure I'm nowhere near the village here um, so and it's not clear the uh, exactly the rules of how close you have to be to the village on the wiki there's one page that sort of suggested you have to be in the village um, <coughs> But then there's another page that sort of says, no, basically uh, sort of implies the village has to just be loaded, which is a little annoying. So I'm going to lay in some more lights here and then I'll transport in the, the villagers. But this is a very tight little compact village. And uh, it should. Uh... Whoa, hello. You really want to do that? You're on fire. Okay. Goodness gracious. Um, and because I've got the the potatoes planted here, one of the villagers over 
in my little strong box there happens to be a fisherman not a farmer but he will farm so uh, then he should throw he should start throwing potatoes at the other guy which I believe is cleric and uh, and he'll pick up potatoes himself <coughs> and they should then start breeding and then they'll throw he'll throw more potatoes at the at the, the new villagers and it'll just keep on going until there's about 20 of them in here or 18 uh, so that should be good and 18 is below the threshold for a zombie zombie siege I believe a little touch-ups to do I don't want this to be a cliff right here so I'm gonna re landscape this a little bit do a little terraforming um, don't want anything too close to the wall uh, right now I have this block of snow which needs to go so let's take care of that there we go and notice I didn't put in a gate because I don't need one I got ender pearls so anyway there's my village I'm gonna go sleep because it's dark it gets dangerous out here um, and then I'll load up the villagers and start having them breed hopefully and <laughs> I'm sorry I was just seeing some little what looked like particles floating up I'm like what are these particles from no they're dust uh, it's sort of mid-afternoon now and there's light streaming in through the window next to my monitor and dust floating in the air so it kind of looks like particles so it freaked me out a little bit hey buddy Whoops. oh hang on a second what happened to my was this another zombie villager oh there's a square head hey dude I'm trying to do science here No, he's just a square head. Okay. <laughs> okay. I will... Uh, anyway, I'm going to call that an episode. I've probably been doing this a little too long anyway. So I'm going to go play around. I'll probably start building some additional uh, breeding pods. And uh, do a little update when I'm further along. And... I'll show you my what my strategy for loading the villagers into the pods is going to be because I have it worked out. I know how I'm going to do it. It's just uh, it's going to be a little tedious. All right. So thank you for watching. Uh, this has been Theron. It's Minecraft Land Party, and we will uh, see you next time. All right. Bye.